First Coast fam, we told you that uh, recently the Florida Theater has reopened for in-person events, and soon they will be welcoming the legendary rock band Air Supply to their historic venue for their Lost in Love Experience Tour. Now, the band just celebrated their 45th anniversary in 2020 and already have major plans to keep on rocking all 2021. Graham Russell of Air Supply joins us right now to fill us all in. So first of all, sir, how does it feel to be going back to doing in-person shows after so many months of playoffs? It feels very strange, Jimmy. Um, you know, our, today is our first day of rehearsal. I'm, a, I'm very apprehensive about it. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of like riding a bike, but you can't remember if you can ride it anymore, you know. I've got to remember to play guitar again. <laughs> uh, get out of here, get out of here. You guys yeah. are one of the biggest named bands in rock to come out of Australia. And listen, we are just happy to have you guys coming here to Jacksonville. So what are you guys going to play for? Is it going to be a mixture of old stuff? And is there anything new? What can we expect? It'll be, obviously we play all the hits, but we're actually playing two brand new songs that we haven't rehearsed before. So we've got a lot of work to do this week. But, but even, you know, we'll be this week because it's been such a long time we'll be doing new arrangements for all the big hits but uh i'm you know i'm looking forward to it very much of course but uh you know you, i've got to relearn everything and all the lyrics and everything but i'm sure they'll all come back pretty fast i hope so <laughs> oh yes most definitely you're thinking about it in your brain but we know the music is right here in our hearts so that's a great that's very good yeah it is right here you're right it is, and, and a lot of the airheads, as they are called, your fans, would definitely agree with that statement. A lot of them are from Florida, and they're, they're coming. I've heard that they're coming, so it's going to be a great evening, you know. Awesome. Now, Air Supply recently performed their 5,000th concert, you guys. That happened in Las Vegas, but you guys are doing something a little bit different for fans who can't be reached in person. So now let's talk about your worldwide virtual concert that you guys are doing on Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's going to be broadcast on Valentine's, February 14th. Uh, and it's really for those people around the world that can't make it. Um, but it's going to be very cool. It's our first live stream concert, a full concert. And we're doing something very unusual. We've asked people to send in their love letters. And we're going to read love letters on stage. Uh, you know, how people got together and how they found their, their respective partners going to read them and let people around the world know how people got together. So it's going to be very unique, too. Wow. So, again, appreciate you guys for putting yourselves, the people that you are, you know, in that in that uh, moment to connect with other people. So is that truly the main idea there? Since we're still in this virtual format, now you can kind of just reach out and, and touch people just with the energy through the computer? Yeah. Well, we're hoping that that energy translates uh through virtual concerts you know our, our live show has got an incredible reputation over the years and we're hoping that it translates in a virtual situation I, I think it will you know I mean we won't we won't have a large audience because the audience there will be a, a COVID audience there'll be distance etc but uh, our big our big audience will be around the world and it's going to be broadcast in about 120 countries so we're, it's going to be pretty cool. We're very excited. Now, you guys perform 130 concerts a year. Of course, that's when we were functioning normally. That's a lot yeah. of time to spend with people there, even if you are friends, bandmates, and business partners. So I heard something uh, very interesting, and I just kind of want to pick your brain a little bit. Is it true that in over 45 years that you and Russell have never had a real argument? I find that very hard to believe, but at the same time, it is possible. So is that true? It's very true, yeah. I mean, the thing is, we both have different roles within the band. You know, I write the songs and Russell is the lead singer, so we're never in competition. Uh, and everybody in the band has a, a role to play, even, you know, our management, our tour manager, all the crew. We all play this little part, and when we come together, it all fits beautifully like a jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't had an argument, you know. We Actually, I haven't seen Russell since March, so... We definitely haven't had an argument over the last 10 months. But, you know, I haven't seen him, and I'm going to, we're meeting this morning to, before we go to rehearsal. So it, we'll have a lot to talk about and a lot of things to discuss. But it, it's great. You know, we talk on the phone, and, you know, I, I have my life, and Russell has his. And, but when we come together to play, it's like we've been there all the time. It's bizarre, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, 
bizarre because you are living a life of purpose, sir, and to have been in one band working with one group of people for so very long, that says a lot about yeah. you guys staying power and how much you care about the music because the music is the point of it all. So how does it feel to be back to playing music as an awesome world-class musician that you are, sir? Yeah, oh, you're very kind, thank you. You know, it feels really good and it's like being away from your profession for su such a long time and then coming back it's a very strange feeling. I've never felt it before because in all our career, we've never stopped playing. We always play shows. Mm -hmm. Hence, we've done over, over 5,200 live shows now. So this is a new experience for us to learn and, uh, and gain insight from. And I hope it doesn't happen again. I hope we can all, the whole world can get back together again. But this is a, a step forward for us, you know, and we're glad that the theater in Jacksonville is, is open so we can come in and play and we're actually rehearsing there all week. So we're excited. Awesome. Well, you guys are definitely helping bring the world together and you guys, viewers at home, make sure you go to firstcoastliving.net to find out tickets and times and how to watch the virtual Valentine's Day concert. Air Supply has actually been proclaimed one of the top five greatest Aussie bands of all time. Of course, they're in great company with the likes of ACDC, the Bee Gees. So again, folks, all the more reason to go on to over to firstcoastliving.net to get your tickets to see this man right here, Mr. Graham Russell of Air Supply and the rest of that awesome band right here in Jacksonville at the Florida Theater. Thanks very much again for your time, sir. Thank you, Jimmy. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. Thank you. Bye.